Hey guys. Uh, let's get started. So every superhero has an origin story. The most famous ones, like Batman here, uh, start with tragedy. <clears throat> Bruce Wayne lost his parents to murder, uh, and that catapulted him to becoming Batman. But being a superhero doesn't just mean having something bad in your past. Uh, many people think you have to have the same powers as Captain America or Iron Man to be a superhero, and that's the super part of the word, but it's not the hero. A hero is somebody, a normal person, just like all of you, who overcomes adversity and helps other people. Anyone in this room could be a hero. And you don't have to be the Incredible Hulk or any of these guys up here. You, like I said, you just have to overcome adversity and help other people. That sounds a lot harder uh, than it might be, but over the next few minutes, I'm gonna talk about how I created a superhero mindset by overcoming my past, creating a new mindset, and uh, looking towards the future. So when I was eight years old, I was sexually abused. At the time, I didn't know the older boy who was the abuser, and it's not really important. I repressed the memory for 12 years, uh, and I became anxious and, and depressed at times and really introverted, uh, and I was, I was terrified of sharing my story. Things got worse when I got to college. I uh, started drinking really heavily and had an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. Sure, I was all smiles on the outside. I was the fun guy at the party, but uh, I ruined friendships and relationships, and I didn't really know why I was acting that way. My abuse would just bubble up in, in the strangest ways. And when I started working on my abuse, started seeing a therapist, the, the hardest lesson for me to learn was there was no going back. I was never getting back to my eight-year-old self before the abuse. And that's okay. See, to, to overcome it, I had to let go of that past. I could stew in those negative emotions, think, why did this happen to me? But that wouldn't be helpful. That wouldn't help me move on to the future. So I made a decision to break with the past, say, that happened to me, okay but I'm not focusing on it. I'm looking to the future. And that was really difficult. I was, I was like I said, for 12 years, I was, I was uh, repressing this, and I put, up, I put up walls, I put up boundaries. I sort of tried to keep all the bad stuff out. Uh, I didn't want life to hurt me again. But the problem was those walls became two ways. Life maybe couldn't hurt me, but I also couldn't connect with other people. I couldn't connect on an emotional level because I was... Uh, hold up, I was walled off. So I started trying to break down those walls. Uh, easier said than done. Um, I tried again and again in different ways and working with my therapist to connect with people and it just seemed like nothing was working. It was really frustrating. I wasn't where I wanted to be and I felt like a failure because I wasn't achieving exactly what I wanted right away. It's sort of like when you're on a really long hike and you can see the, the, maybe you see the M up there or whatever goal it is. And no matter how many steps you're taking, it never seems like it's getting closer, right? It's super frustrating. It'd be so nice to sit down, maybe have a drink of water. And in this context, that meant just accepting the status quo, accepting the abuse, saying, I am less than. But I couldn't, I couldn't accept that. I had to have faith in myself, faith as a belief in things not seen that my future would be better and I, I could make that happen. Uh, regardless of all the evidence uh, that I was seeing, regardless of my repeated uh, attempts and failures to change my life, it almost became a mantra, you know, I will succeed, my life will be different. Not to the point where I was just saying it, but to the point where it was sort of in my bones, where, you know, you don't think about breathing, right? I didn't, I got to the point where I didn't think, maybe my life will be better, it's gonna be better and I'm making it happen. And more recently, you know, I, I look back on the past five years of working on this, and it's sort of like when you're on that hike and you look back and it doesn't feel like you've been making any progress and you've actually climbed over three different mountains and it's really incredible. But let me tell you a more uh, uh, everyday story. After graduation, I moved to Washington, D.C. and I applied for 70 jobs, seven, zero. Uh, I got none of them, not a single one. Uh, one. One called me back, and I felt like a failure because I wasn't getting those jobs. But I had changed my uh, mindset. I had redefined success as a process rather than a destination. And really, that's, that's what it was all about, thinking, hey, if I'm working today harder than I was yesterday and harder the next day than I am today, I'm a success. 
And like I said, I never got that job in D.C. That's okay. Uh, but on a date, she had, the girl asked me, what do you do? I said, I'm a professional job applicant. <laughs> I'm proud to say I got a second date. So I had created a new mental model for myself. And what I mean by that is a mental model is a system for solving problems. It's like a tool in your mental toolkit. My new mental model, which I call the superhero mindset, consists of a couple features, which I've just said. You've got to let go of the past. You can't change it, but you can spend time worrying about it and waste time. You have to work hard every day, just continue pushing and pushing. And nine times out of 10, you're not going to make progress, but that one day, it's so worth it. You have to have faith in yourself, because uh, nobody will believe in you until you believe. But once you do, anything's possible. Now, I wasn't lying when I said anyone can be a hero. Anyone can be. I hope each and every one of you can take something home from this. Uh, I believe it's a fundamental human trait to help other people, and that's why I wanted to do this, this talk. Uh, there was a time when I was scared of sharing my story with my friends or my family, and now I'm speaking to a room full of hundreds of strangers, so I've overcome my adversity. So I hope you all can take something from this and apply it to your own life or maybe speak to somebody about it. Um, because I think too often we uh, dismiss our own potential and our own greatness. And uh, anyone can be a hero, anyone can overcome anything, whether that's I wanna eat more vegetables or I wanna solve climate change. So I hope tonight is the origin of so many more superhero stories. Thank you all and have a great night.